There was something that I hated, and even though my business was doing ridiculously well, I was having a massive impact on people all around the world. I hated that look that was staring back at me in the mirror. And I was wondering why my body wasn't playing ball. Why, when I can get so many people in shape, no matter how stressed they are, no matter how busy they are, no matter what, I can get them in shape. I can get their stress levels down. I can get their focus, their productivity, and their energy through the roof. Why couldn't I do that on me? It's because I didn't have a plan. I didn't sit down and treat myself like I would a client. Like I would implement these six simple steps in order to make sure the plan that I would make was something that I would follow. Something that I would stick to, something for me. Just like the plans I make and create with clients week in, week out. Entrepreneurs, business guys, ridiculously busy people like yourself all around the world. These six things. The first thing was that I wasn't including things that I liked. Always, whenever you're making a plan, include foods that you like. Make sure that if you don't like to eat kale, don't have kale in your plan. If you don't like tomatoes, don't have tomatoes in your plan. If you love beef, steak, have steak in your plan. Chicken in your plan, turkey in your plan. The things that you're not going to think, oh my God, I've got to eat that tonight. Oh my God, I'm going to gag on that tonight because I've got to eat that broccoli again and again and again. Don't have foods that you don't like in your plan. There are so many foods out there, so many foods around the world that you have no need to have foods that you don't like inside your plan for your health optimization. And that goes with number two. Don't ban foods. As soon as we ban foods from people's nutrition, that is when... That is when people seem to crave them a lot. <clears throat> you take cake out of a plan, people want to eat cake. You take donuts out of a plan, people want to eat more and more donuts and become more and more Homer Simpson-like every single day. For example, I love going for afternoon tea. So it was my wedding anniversary last week, as you may have seen, and I had afternoon tea. Great, lovely. However, it's the bank holiday weekend. We had two barbecues. And I didn't want to ban the foods that were at the barbecues. I wanted to enjoy them. I didn't want to ban the fact that I couldn't have bread or anything like that. What you had to do is be prepared. Take some foods out elsewhere. Put the foods in you like. Do not ban foods. If you ban food, pizza as a food item for the rest of your life, you're going to want that pizza. You tell a dog they can't have something. You tell a kid they can't have something. They just want it more. So number two is don't ban foods. Number three is to be consistent. If people were as consistent at being consistent as they are at being consistent at being inconsistent, the world would be a much better place. Have a think about that one. Stop stopping and you'll have to stop starting. Starting is the hardest part. So if you get that consistency, small goals, and hit those goals, to reach bigger goals and even bigger goals, you're gonna get so much more success over time. Number four is something I do have to speak with my clients a lot about because these guys are so successful in their business, just like yourself. We have to make sure that everyone is being honest with themselves. The world advertised to us that we can lose 20 pounds in a day and it's all healthy, which is not the case. Be realistic with your goals, whether it is to drop fat, put on muscle, just to feel amazing. It might be as simple as you get the hydration in, you do that, you're going to feel much better. But don't set yourself a 50 pound weight loss goal for two weeks time, because it's not sustainable. The more realistic your goals are, but still stretched, the better you're going to have a chance of hitting those goals. So you're going to feel great, you're going to be on the path to success and more and more consistency following on from that. The fifth one is to individualize your plan. This is why it's taken me so long to create my membership group, revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. 
it's a whole library of all the content I've put out. Exclusive content and nutrition, training, workouts, so many different mindset things, but it's a membership group. It's not individualized. My one-to-one -one clients get that full, individualized, personalized, tailored content. And honestly, that's the thing that works more than anything. My plan is not gonna work for you. That person's plan is not gonna work for this person's plan, necessarily. Parts of it will, parts of it won't. Don't go and do a ketogenic diet if you love carbs and you're doing endurance races and you live a life where you just cannot even transition into that sort of lifestyle. Don't do intermittent fasting if you need to have a lot of your calories at the start. Find a plan that works for you and tailor it specifically for you. There's no one size fits all when it comes to your nutrition, your optimization and your accountability. And that goes on to number six. Number six is to get accountable. Whether that's to do a reverse bet, bet someone $1,000, $10,000 that you are going to do this thing and be consistent at it. If you don't do it, you have to give them that money. Or just hire a coach like myself to create this plan specific to your needs, specific to everything that you need for your lifestyle and your success with the goals you have set yourself. If you want to talk further, then get in contact with me. Revitalizationblueprint.com. Just click contact or ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com. If you want to be one of the first people to experience the Instant Impact membership site, then the first 20 people actually get it all for $1 for the first month. Then it goes up to $30 a month. So it's a steal regardless of whether you're the first 20 or not. Revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash instant impact. I'll see you guys there.